so this is the four player playthrough of the Fire Tower Rising Flames expansion. We're playing with both the core expansion and the extreme weather elements. Uh, due to quarantine from COVID, there's just two of us playing the four player version. So please bear with us. Yeah, bear with us. We're sorry in advance, but we're going to do the best that we can. So we're going to start out by uh, each player gets to place one Firehawk in their quadrant on the board. I'm going to place one here. And then for the purple tower, I'm going to place one here. All right. For the green tower, I'm going to place one firehawk here. And then for the red tower, I'll be placing one firehawk here. And you can place firehawks in any vacant space in your quadrant of the board. And that's just the quarter of the board containing your tower. And you can always tell where it is from the compass points to the eternal flame. We'll highlight that square. All right. Let's roll the die to see who goes first. East. Gwen's going to be heading east, so the purple tower is going to go first. Okay. So now Gwen is playing as the purple tower. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start actually by triggering my own firehawk um, right there and placing it here. Uh, and then I'm going to play a southwest card to change the wind direction to south. All right, one, one of my towers can agree with that. <laughs> and I'm going to draw back up to six. All right, now we'll be passing over to the blue tower. So as the blue tower, I'm going to play one to the south here. And I'm going to explode on that exact gem. Surrounded with fire on all sides. But I do trigger a firehawk. Okay, so, so green gets it to remove that firehawk and it picks up the gem you would have added and attaches that gem here. And then I'm going to draw back up. All right, so it's the green tower's turn now and they're going to add one gem to the south here and then change the wind direction away from themselves towards the east and then draw back up to six. All right, so now it's the red. I almost find like whose turn is it now? Um, <laughs> so it is the red tower's turn, and the red tower is going to add one gem to the east over here, and then use the creeping fires, which allows them to add three gems to the board. So this way they can go after multiple people if they wish. So add one gem here, add one gem here, and one gem here as well, and then draw back up. Okay, so as purple, one to the east, and ooh, purple actually has a double crown fire. Early in the game to bring this out, but I'm pretty excited. So with a double crown fire, you can actually place two patterns of four. They just have to be touch, or sorry, two patterns of two, and they just have to be touching each other. So I made that L shape there. And then draw back up to six. All right, now the blue tower's turn. Blue is going to go one to the east here and play a hell attack to remove these two gems and also this gem. Draw back up to six. All right, so now the green tower's turn and they're going to, wind is still heading east. So they're going to add one gem to the east over here. And then they're actually going to use their heavy winds card. Flip that over, which allows you to play as many wind cards as you want and add those in the direction shown on the cards. So they're going to add one to add one to the east. Play another south card to add one gem south of another. And then play a north card to add one north of another one. Wow. And then draw those three cards back up and end the turn. Heavy Winds is one of the new specialty cards added uh, in the expansion. All right, Red's turn, and we're heading east. So Red is actually going to actually hit their own Firehawk here to add that gem over here. And then they're going to use a Hell Attack to remove these two gems, and then one more gem, which will be this, and then draw back up to six. All right, so it's Purple's turn. Purple's going to play one to the east towards blue and then play a pair of hawks to add two hawks to the board. Uh, one here and one here. Uh, and actually blue gets to rearrange their hawks, so they're gonna go one there. And purple's going to draw back up to six. 
now blue <laughs> now blue is going to go one east over here and play a smoke jumper to remove all the fire surrounding this gem and draw back up to six all right green's turn so green is just gonna uh, i don't know no nope. green's just gonna go east here and then play a burning snag off of here down towards red square of four and then draw back up to six all right so it's red's turn now red is going to add one east here and then play a trio of hawks adding three firehawk tokens to their quadrant of the boards so here here and and here and then draw back up to six Oh yeah, and all the other players get to rearrange their hawks if they wish. Just like that. All right, now purple's turn. Okay, so purple's gonna play one to the east first and trigger their own hawk to fly it here. To trigger red's hawk? Yep, to oh, trigger so red's hawk. So now red gets to pick up the gem and will now toss the gem over towards blue. And then purple's gonna play creeping fires to place one here. Oh, come on. Red spared purple. What is this? <laughs> it's true. Don't worry. Purple's going after everyone. And place one towards each player. And draw back up to six. And now it's Blue's turn. One to the east here. They're going to play Backburn and change this gem to a purple firebreak. All right, green is going to add one gem, continuing heading east, and then use Dozer line, create a line of two firebreak tokens on the board, get some defense going down there, and then draw back up. And now it's red's turn. Red is going to add another gem to the east, and then red is going to trigger their heavy winds card, and they're gonna play some wind cards, including one south card here to add one gem to the south here. One to the northeast to add one northeast diagonal off of that gem. One to the west to add one here. Another one to the south to add one here. And then one more to the east to add one here. And just remember that was five cards. So they get to draw back up to six now. And that's the end of their turn. So it's Purple's turn. Purple's going to play one to the east and then play Lookout. Flip it over. All right. And draw the top three cards. Draw the top three and perfect. Play one of them. Flare up just what I want. Who's that going after? Wow. After blue. Yeah. Going all the way after blue. And now uh it's Blue's turn. Blue gets to place one to the east as well. And Blue is going to change the wind direction to north. Ouch. All right, north. Well, green abides with that. Um, sure, one north. And then green is going to play a scratch line. To add a couple more firebreak tokens, one there and one there. And then they're going to draw back up. And they have drawn Mobilization. This is one of the new events in the Rising Flames expansion. So, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, you draw one more than the number of players. And then each player gets to play one card and pass it to the player to their left. All right. So, green is actually going to play the rolling firebrand and push these gems two spaces into purple tower. Wow. All right, now passing the cards down to red. Red is going to play a hell attack to remove these two gems and then this gem as well. Now purple can't use their bucket yet. Because it's not their turn. It's not their turn. What it's a predicament. They want revenge. They're going to play 
the flare up and go right here, right through red. I know red didn't attack them, but I can't really actually get green and give them this gem. All right. Um, well, I guess red's going to use this opportunity to also set blue on fire. Oh. And now blue is going to use a pair of hawks to place two here, maybe too little too late, but if they can use their bucket on their turn, they'll be able to save themselves. The wind's going north, right? So maybe that's okay. And discard the last card. All right. And, and everybody gets to move their oh, yeah, firehawks. Play one. All right, so red's going to move theirs. All right, so now it's red's turn. All right, well, clearly red is going to go one to the north here. Oof. Do they take out purple or do they deal with their own issues? If you take out purple, you know they're just going to become Shadow of the Wood and take them down. That is true. I don't want to make enemies, but oh, I don't want to make a different enemy, though. <laughs> Red has to take care of themselves right now, which means changing the wind to the south and then drawing back up. Thank you for sparing purple. <laughs> <laughs> Will you spare red? Uh, indeed. Nice. I will. Gonna use the bucket. And I'm feeling kind of... Now I wish I'd burn purple down. Feeling like doing some burning myself. Crown fire. Oh, you're taking blue out. And go right into blue. All right, let's give blue a Tower of Blaze card. So blue hands their cards off to purple. Uh, who now has to discard down to seven. seven. The Everybody maximum else. size goes up by one. Yep. These are some good cards. I don't even know what to get rid of. Discarding those cards there, and now blue gets a Firestorm, Firestorm Revenge. Revenge. Oh, north. which is heading north. All right. So a few of the Firehawks are going to be triggered uh, by the north expansion. So when that happens, oh, wow. Blue yeah. is going to get some Firehawks as well. We do it by lying them all down. Just lay them on their side and put a gem on them so you know they've been triggered. And now we're going to have to expand every gem on the board. One to the north for the Firestorm, which is adding quite a bit of fire now to the board. So these all go one north, including this one, and off the Eternal Flame as well. And you got that quadrant. All okay. right. So now starting in... Turn. Oh, I missed these as well. Now starting in turn order, which would actually, it would be blue, they get to move their Firehawks first. Yep, so blue's clearly angry, going right here towards purple. All right, so then red is going to add a gem towards, start going around green's defenses. And so will purple, not loving how... Uh, clear of fire green is looking right now. All right, so now that blue has burned down, they are going to become the, the shadow of the wood. Um, but this now, uh, that is their first turn coming up, so now they get to take their revenge as the vengeful shadow of the wood. They get to come back and still try to win the game. If they can manage to eliminate all active towers uh, on their turn with the die roll and the powers they receive, they can still win the game. And if another player burns down, they will actually join them in the shadow realm and then we'll work together. So this is actually Blue's first turn. It's happening right now after they've been eliminated. Uh, so on the next turn, they'll get to take an action. So it passes to green right now. Um, so which way is the wind heading following the firestorm? Oh, I think uh, blue has to roll one more time for the new wind direction, which is north. Still north. All right. Oh, wow. This works out well for green. Um, ooh. Oh, I need to get this bucket. Uh, one north here. I like how I'm actually rooting for one of my characters versus the other. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense, but I had one of mine burn the other's tower, so that doesn't really make sense either. <laughs> All right. One north there. It just shows you're unbiased. Yeah, right. I'm actually just going to use this. Just a spiteful thing. Just to add one gem down to the west off of here. All right. And then it's green's turn. Draw back up. Uh, for their turn, red is going to use their bucket. And that is... Oh, that was just brutal. I did that to myself, though. Uh, 
they're actually just going to, oh, so the wind is going north. They're actually just going to get rid of some of this fire. They're going to use an airdrop to wipe out these gems here and then draw back up. And red did not add to their gem to the north, so clearly they're going to place it up here. Yeah, not great, not great. Um, okay, well, purple cannot get rid of that, but they can do some other things here. First of all, adding a gem to the north and then playing a flare up towards green. And drag back up to seven. And now uh, blue gets to take their first turn as Shadow of the Wood. Yeah. All right, rolling the Shadow Power die. Four. All right, so with four, uh, you place a gem in the wind direction, so one to the north. And then you choose a new wind direction. So blue's going to choose west to try and go after both green and red. All right, west. Uh, green's turn. So the first thing they're going to do is use their bucket to remove these three. And then they're going to play a fire engine to remove these two gems here and then draw back up. All right, so it's red's turn. Ooh, west. All right, one west there. Uh, so and then red is going to play a smoke jumper off of this gem and then remove everything around it which feels pretty satisfying right about now and then draw back up and then they drew the firestorm uh so we're gonna have to make that happen immediately we're gonna roll the die and the wind is going to head south for that so every single gem on the board is going to extend one to the south which is just fine with red one's off here one's off there. Likes it too. one's off there and blue doesn't care because they have nothing to lose <laughs> You got all of those up there as well? Yep. All right, and then we're going to roll again for the wind direction following that, which is going to be heading east. Mark that on the weather vane. And then everyone can discard and redraw as many cards as they want, all the active players. All right, so green is going to discard one card. All right, and red is going to discard two. And now it's purple's turn. So purple's going to go one to the east here. And now they're going to play a heavy winds card. Oh no. So I have, let's see here. This is kind of funny because, okay, so one to the north for sure here. But then I think actually one to the northwest here, just because the third one is south, I want to be able to get there. <laughs> Um, and draw three cards to replace that. And now they have Light Breeze, which is great. And now it is the Shadow of the Woods turn. Blue. All right, here goes Blue. Three. So Blue gets to draw three cards and play two of them. So, um, okay. This is amazing. Oh, no. Okay, so Blue wants everybody to go down at once. So they're kind of not interested in purple right now. Definitely gonna play an explosion towards green, who's looking way too nice over there. Although it does kind of help with the defenses. Well, it depends on what your next card is. An ember. To move this here. And discard, discard the other one. one. All right. So green's turn, and they're going to add one east here, burning snag, and destroy purple's tower. How could you? Sorry, both your towers are gone. All right, so take those cards and make the best hand of eight. Uh, red actually draws another card. Uh, hand size goes up. And green discards the rest of those cards to discard down to eight. All right, cool. Uh, so purple gets a revenge and firestorm. Storm. And because both towers on the east side of the board are now destroyed, the wind can no longer go east. So if you ever roll uh, and it comes up east, you would just roll again, which in this case it doesn't matter because it is heading west. So we'll do a firestorm to the west. All right. This is probably the most eventful gem of that firestorm right there. It's not good for red. West, west, west. Man, I wish purple had played a bunch of firehawks right before they went out because then they could trigger them now. West, west. Uh, and then roll again for a new wind going forward. East can't, can't be. Can't go east anymore. North. The wind always has to be going after someone. All right, so the wind is heading north. All right, now it's red's turn. All right. Uh, wow, their bucket is gone. Things are not looking good for red, but red is going to add one 
to our to the north over here. Well, now that they are in reckless abandon, because their bucket is gone and their shower is on fire, they're going to discard three fire break cards. Actually, add two fires to the board and breach Green's Tower. And then get the draw back up. And I will shuffle these so they can draw their other two cards. All right. So uh, Purple's turn is skipped because they just became Shadow of the Wood and it doesn't go into effect until the following turn. Okay, so blue is going to roll should the shadow die and get a six, which is Creeping Fire. They get to place three gems, but the three gems can't touch each other. So obviously one there. Definitely one here. I'm going to go here. Okay. And, and the, it's Green's turn. And the wind's heading north. All right, so Green is just going to add one to the north there. And then play the explosion. Oh, they had the card. I was kind of hoping that it would come back around to the shadow again. Boom, 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 boom. Takes out the red tower. Cover them with the tower blaze card as well. And Green claims victory. Nice. Good game. Hey, good game. All four of us. <laughs> Congratulations to the green half of your towers. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.